Everyone knows better than anybody what we built brand new and shiny was uh, the treatment plant and the spine that runs down the middle of, mm -hmm. of the. What we're continuing to do is the manhole rehab at about 35 a year, which is quite mm -hmm. aggressive, and then every piece of pipe that attaches to that spine over the next about five or six as well. So. Um, we still got a lot of work to do. Absolutely got a lot of work to do. And you're working on it. On the mayor's paddle, we will pass by what I like to refer to as the $100 million waterfall. <laughs> it sure is. Because that's about how much Dallas is going to end up spending overall. He already spent, what, $60 million? Yep, 60 just on that spine I mentioned, the force main system and the lift stations and the SCADA, and, um, the SCADA alert system and the treatment plant itself. But we've never stopped. We're, we got to another, what, 14 million committed. So you're right. We're going to, mm -hmm. by the time this thing's done, we're going to do what a lot of cities across this country cannot, which is commit about $100 million to rebuild that infrastructure. And where's that coming from, you may wonder? It's mostly the special option, special op option local sales tax, SPLOST, am yep. I correct? SPLOST, but remember 50% of that initial project um, was grant. So we actually, go. we actually did get grant money, so about when we initially spent about 60 million, 30 million of it was paid for day one, and the, the other 30 as SPLOST, as SPLOST collections come in. You're exactly mm -hmm. right. Now, is that a Georgia grant? Um, I don't know. It might have been a federal grant. They were waiting for the entire project. Mm -hmm. They waited about two years too long for mm -hmm. the federal government to cover the entire project. The federal government basically told us and every other city that was showing up at the doorstep we're not in that business anymore. Mm -hmm. So we got lucky to find half. You're, you're, you're right. Yeah, if you haven't heard this story, after the 700-year flood in 2009, FEMA sat on their hands for two years before Dot Austin could do anything. True, and then the 700 years became two years later that it, That's right. flo it flooded again. So, Which uh, seemed to finally convince FEMA to do something. True. John, thank you for that. that that's a neat walk through the history of what uh, I was more privy to than I cared to as a private citizen at the time. Um, they kept pulling me down to show me the yeoman's effort that was done to keep just the old um, gravity-fed um, treatment center, treatment plant, from going under during that first flood. They brought me down there when they built a 30-foot berm of dirt to, to hold back the Gucci, mm -hmm. the or none of us would have been able to flush a toilet. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this, this whole uh, Austin wastewater situation is one reason that walls formed in the first place back in 2012. And there's more to it than that, but I don't want to go on about this too long. But yes, once again, congratulations to Aldosta. We're watching. Thank you. And uh, again, we'll make some more promises on the on the waterway this go-round, and, and we'll meet again next year, and, and I'll, I'll hope to have kept all of them.